I don't know about you, but ever since I was young, I always fancied myself as a comic book superhero. First of all, it was Spider-Man. Spinning those webs and climbing those walls. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Then after that, I kind of liked the Hulk. Literally pure strength, just smashing things to smithereens. And later on, I got into Wolverine. Cool, smoldering loner that protected the interests of his fellow mutants. But the superhero I really want to be is Jon Snow. No, 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 no. Not that Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. This Jon Snow. This Jon Snow was a real life superhero and it saved thousands of lives. Jon Snow was an English physician. He was considered one of the modern founders of epidemiology, in part because of his work in tracing an outbreak of cholera in 1854. And that's why I'm here in Soho today to tell you all about him. And the story all revolves around this little water pump here on Broadwick Street. John Snow was born in York in 1813 and at 14 was apprenticed to a surgeon. In 1836 he moved to London for his formal education, becoming a member of the Royal College of Surgeons in 1838. Now cholera was one of the deadliest diseases to affect Britain in the 19th century and at that time it was believed that cholera was an airborne disease, a miasma, spread by bad air or bad smells. However, John Snow was skeptical of the miasma theory. On examining patients, he noticed that the first symptoms were always digestive problems or gastroenteritis. If cholera was an airborne disease, then symptoms would appear in the nose and lungs but this just wasn't the case. Snow theorized that the extreme diarrhea that characterized the disease might be the mechanism that spread the germs from one victim to another. If just a few drops of that fluid contaminated a public water supply, the diseased germs could spread to countless other victims. After convincing a local priest about his theory, and Mr. Reverend Henry Whitehead, Snow started to interview households who had been impacted by cholera in the local area. He was particularly interested as to where each household gathered their water from. He started with a map of Soho and then placed dots on the map of the area to show exactly where the cholera cases and deaths had occurred. And he noticed that they all had one thing in common. They were all situated next to this water pump here on Broadwick Street. Snow quickly rushed his evidence to the parish board, begging them to hear him. After much deliberation, the council was soon persuaded of his findings and agreed to his quick fix solution to fight this cholera outbreak which wasn't a vaccine or medical intervention. He simply removed the handle from the pump and within days, the cases started to fall. Although Dr. John Snow's findings were not immediately accepted, they still influenced changes in public health that we see today and were a pathway for the construction of improved sanitation facilities throughout the world. Dr. John Snow may not have had a red cape, been able to climb walls, spin webs, or smash buildings up with his bare hands, but he was a real life superhero that saved thousands and thousands of lives. At the moment as I speak, there are thousands of these quiet unsung superheroes working in laboratories all around the world, looking for ways of making me and my family and your families safe from viruses. These are the superheroes of epidemiology and we thank you. 
Thanks for watching Secret London with me, Mark Munro. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave any comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you really enjoyed it, why not subscribe? Until next time, stay tuned.